Now, where did that come from? Something somewhere in deep space just sent out the fastest radio burst on record. Trouble is, we don't know what its origin is. The strongest ever fast radio burst ever recorded by astronomers hit Earth earlier this month. Scientists say signal FRB 180309 was heard on March 9th. Its signal to noise ratio was four times larger than the previous strongest signal. Astronomers don't know what it is, but some speculate it could be anything from stars colliding to interstellar travel. What do you think it was? All sorts of weird sounds come from space. Zombie satellite found by amateur stargazer. A zombie was found in space last weekend. A zombie satellite, that is. Scott Tilly received a signal from a spacecraft number 2000-017A-26113. That's NASA's missing image satellite. After being launched in 2000 by the space agency, the satellite was thought to be long gone after scientists lost contact with it in 2005. The satellite was sent into space to investigate Earth's magnetosphere, the space around our planet controlled by our planetary magnetic field. NASA is now reportedly working around the clock with old software in a bid to communicate with the zombie satellite. Maybe John Constantine can help. Interstellar message sent to nearby exoplanet. Hello, is anyone out there? GJ273, a red dwarf, also called Leuton's star, is galactically right around the corner at a mere 12.36 light years away from Mother Earth. Scientists and artists beamed a message to the GJ273 system last month to see if any aliens are listening. The message will only take about a dozen years to arrive. The radio signal included music and math lessons from us to them and was designed for aliens to respond. Some critics, like Stephen Hawking, worry that actively trying to contact ET could alert advanced hostile or resource-seeking aliens, which could have dire consequences for our planet. Don't worry, we'll destroy ourselves first before any dirty alien will get a chance to. But on the bright side, if in 25 years we hear an actual response, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> alien hunters detect radio signals from distant galaxy. Scientists searching out alien life were presented with a new hope last month when their equipment picked this up. This is a radio burst from another galaxy. Writing in the astronomer's telegram, scientists reported 15 fast radio bursts detected from a dwarf galaxy some 3 billion light years from our own. Scientists suggest the burst may have come from a magnetar, which is a rotating neuron star with a strong magnetic field. Researchers also speculate that the burst may originate from alien laser technology used to propel and power spacecraft, like wind powers sails on a ship. That theory is similar to Breakthrough Starshot, an initiative aimed at propelling nanocraft to Proxima Centauri with Earth-based lasers. Whatever they come from, researchers say that those signals began traveling from their galaxy over 10 billion years ago, when ours wasn't even 2 billion years old. Or, in other words, it happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. A nearby star is emitting weird radio waves. A star close to our solar system was found last week to be playing some pretty weird jams on the radio. Well, not exactly. The Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico discovered peculiar radio signals coming from the star Ross 128 in the Virgo constellation. Scientists say the reason for this could be one of three things. The signals could have originated from a solar flare, from something else passing in front of the telescope's view of Ross 128, or it could simply be a radio burst from a high orbit satellite. Researchers say the recurring hypothesis that aliens are behind the signal is at the bottom of many other explanations. So it's probably not ET or the Death Star, Spock or the Saiyans. <laughs> 